The sentence of the court is that you be committed to the State Department of Corrections for a period of six years. Those words brought an end to the emotional journey for Tracy Helms. It's just been a hard road. And um, I'm glad that the judge could say that he has a, a good future. It's, it's disgusting what Judge Cooper decided to give him. Six years is not enough to teach any real criminal or send a real message out to the general public about what happens if you try to shoot up a school. During the sentencing hearing, Smith testified he was surprised to learn his name was number nine on Christian's hit list. I thought it was outrageous and I barely knew him and he's trying to kill somebody that he doesn't even know that's been bullied pretty much the same amount of time he has. While both the Helms and the Smith family say school bullies are a problem that need to be properly reported and addressed, their outlook on the former Sakasti student's time behind bars differs. I have no sympathy for this kid at all. He needs to be locked up for as long as he can. As bad as it was, he was 14, he was in a bad state, and um, it uh, makes me feel really good that he's going to be able to go out and have a life, and he's going to be able to go out and, and show everybody that all this, though this was a terrible thing, it's not who he is. The Helms family hopes Christian's story helps other families come closer and discuss issues affecting their lives. In Horry County, Bree Jackson, News 13.